Well, there's been a lot of talk about Taylor Swift recently. I, for one, have no problems with Taylor Swift. I've played her music on the radio for years. I congratulate her for being so incredibly successful. I don't care who she's dating. It doesn't matter to me. But other people have different opinions. Shannon Forrest of Toto, their current drummer, has played with Taylor Swift before and gave her some amazing advice that she has never forgotten to this day. But he's a dad, and he has his own opinions on Taylor Swift, on rock history music. You worked with Taylor Swift. She seems to be in the news lately. I don't know. I might have. I might have heard a few things. Uh, I, maybe I'm mistaken. It could have been another artist, though. <laughs> I mean, listen. If you want to, one of our new songs is taking that on, and it's not. You know, like everybody. We got everybody's got to pick sides on everything. You know what I mean? Everybody's That's why I don't talk politics side. on my channel. Well, the problem is, and real simply, is like they've they've split conflicting issues across party lines so that you can't you can't achieve change, right? So some things that don't belong in one party are are purposefully held over there so that we can't get underneath and change the outcome of the establishment. Short short answer, right? Uh Judson and I are always, man. I mean, I think rock and roll, man, if you're not, I think of it more like Roger Waters, maybe a little bit. Like if you're not, we don't do it. In a, we, none of those songs do you feel like, oh, fuck, political, right? I mean, you're not feeling like that. But nope. but it does have a, a, a sentiment to it, you know? The Taylor thing, I can say quick, you know, kind of short and uh, concise. I mean, I, I, I met her the first time when she was 15. I played on some songs for her before her career broke. We had a particular day together that the last time she had never forgotten because uh, uh, she they had her for the same reasons that I told you I didn't like the industrial thing. We were recording all day. It was uh, it was with an established Nashville songwriter, you know, who was producing and Napoleon Dynamite the movie had just come out. Right. And so I'm always finding ways to amuse myself on these vapid sessions. You know what I mean? And the band, you know. So I was mimicking the character Kip, who has this lisp, you know what I mean? And every time I would do that in the headphones, she'd go, who's doing that? And she'd be ca cracking up, you know? So we get to the end of the day, and we record a song. that, And I've always been this way, whatever, for better or worse. You know, uh, it's just, uh, I, I, I will, we're accountable as musicians on some level to speak the truth even at our peril, you know what I mean? It, it, when, when it comes down to it. And so we got to the, the last song we did on that particular day was the by far the best. Now the best for her, you know what I'm saying? Like it was the best thing we did that day. I'm not over investing in how deep it was. It was just the best thing we did that day. I said, Hey Taylor, where'd this song come from? You know, she's, Oh, well I wrote that one. I said, I told her and she always remembered this at least from the last time I ran into her. Uh, I said, you know, well, that's the best song we recorded today. You should be recording your own songs, you know? And so, so the, the, the fact that she does that uh, is, is accurate. Now, as a father of a 12 year old daughter and observing these things in a peculiar way and in the kind of Orwellian feeling universe we're we're occupying right now you know the bandwidth of that has not changed you know what i mean like 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 what that was that day it still is at 30 plus years old and i find that to be troubling you know that, that that's i'm not attacking her on that on that level i think there's a component about her that's that because of the way she grew up and stardom at a certain age i i equate it to, i tell people i i look at it kind of like what michael jackson had i believe that some of his struggles were more based on the fact that he was never advanced he was a, in a certain kind of uh uh growth that we get he was not given access to the things that that expand you right I think in a in a, in a very unnefarious way, that's a part of of what that is, what the Taylor thing is to me, and watching it, it's sort of it's having a stunting effect on 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 
on certain things, you know what I mean? But, th- but that's a huge conversation we can get into. I don't know what just happened right there. Yeah, I know. I just saw phone. that. I'm going, what? Okay, I well, didn't do it. See, okay. Jeff Scott Baxter told me, he says, as a studio musician, I've talked to him quite a few times. He says, you go in there and you, you make it easy for the artist. It's not always the most pleasant experience for you, but you got to look for the song and for the artist. And he says, that's, yeah. he says, I've had a lot of tough sessions, but that's yeah. my job. Is that how you looked yeah. at it when you were doing the session work? Yeah, I always I always looked at it like, well, I'm not here to play for me. You know what I mean? I'm 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 here if I can insinuate something about me into it, then then great. That comes down to just time and feel and maybe arrangement choices, but but to like really stretch out and uh, and overreach, that's that's failure, you know. And and even even in how you handle, for me, how you handle um, suggestions, you know, particularly from the artist, you know, uh, the first thing I will do is always try to 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 create a functional version of what they're asking me for. You know what I mean? And 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 then if I feel like it, I'm not there, like going, I ain't gonna play that because that's gonna make me look bad. I mean, there I have warned people at times. I've literally said to some younger artists at at when I was doing lesser and lesser sessions, and because it was needed to be said, I said, you know, I, I I'm happy to play that for you, but you might want to look for the opportunity for someone to play the next thing that the next person asked them to play. You know what I mean? Like, like, because it was so, what we were doing was done so many times. It's like, yes, that will work. You know what I mean? But there's nothing about it that belongs to you. You know what I mean? And, 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 but it, most of the time I won't even go that far. If I can make what they're asking me to do feel musical, I'll just play it, you know? But anyway, what's so what's you know, what's coming up for you guys? Like you're going to continue recording new music? Yeah, we we've, we've got a bunch of new tracks. Uh he's about to go out uh with Toto, so we we had a window where it's like, "Whoa, we got to get this done, baby." Yeah. And so we've got I guess, you know, about 3 days to wrap some major tracks up. I mean, we're talking major you, tracks. You know, and and I, all our work that exists that you've heard, it is at a level uh, two guys working together for three years, just imagine our best work beyond what you've already heard. Like, like, okay, this is, this is the next gear. You know what I mean? So it's built on all the, the, the guardrails of that groove and, and that efficiency and that thing, but they're, they're bigger, they're bigger ideas in their release. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're bigger in their musical bandwidth uh, or uh, in some ways and bigger in their thought bandwidth, you know? Wow. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. So, so when you get, I mean, do you, I, I never looked at the, the dates. Uh, are there plans yeah. for you guys? Do you have like breaks in the journey total thing? Do yes, you, totally. Yes. And so, you know, and that's part of where the process is and, and your audience, man, if, if they're digging what we're doing, every bit of support that we can get reciprocates what we're trying to do, puts eyes on what we're doing, puts eyes back on total, but you know what I mean? All these things work together. The creative part we we're, we're about to put will be sixteen songs in that are all at minimal quality of what you've already heard, right? And so for a yeah, for a body of work, that's that. And now the time when I'm in Toto, my day job is is going to be business outreach and booking and getting us booked in all those additional place you know what i mean all time frames so mm-hmm. uh those gigs are will be coming you know and uh and and yeah in a way to in a way a great way to follow us if you're digging this and you're watching this and and thanks john again for you know having me on if you're into this and you, this sounds exciting to you uh jmwofficial.com you can actually sign up you can do it either uh if you want to do it with an email that's great um, we also have a phone list. You can sign up with your phone if you just if that's easier for you, um, less spam. And uh, so that's a great way to just kind of figure out what's going on with this. And obviously, subscribing to our YouTube channel keeps because you can see right. us work, you know, on if, what we're doing. If your interest is peaked, uh, you know, and you're checking this out, and if it's in in real time, the next thing we're doing is work. We're working on the true crime song, and we'll be. It, we would be live on our channel the rest of the day. You know what I mean? So that's kind of the nature of how this thing works. Hope you enjoyed that. Judson McKinney and the Wanderers. You'll get all the information at the very top of the description. Also, there's links to the clips of the entire interview with both Shannon and Judson, where you can see them right now. 
It's available, all available on our sister site, Rocky Street Book. Make sure you join our newsletter. The link is at the very top of the description. If you want to give a donation to the channel, there is a PayPal donation. You can join our Patreon, get early access to our interviews. And of course, comment on our videos, share our videos, subscribe to the channel, and like them as well. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Music